Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Dome Romantic, which has nothing to do with Dorf Romantic except for the name. Anyway, uh, so it is a dome defense digging mining game. Uh, let's see, core migration. Oh, dig through the planet's crust and reach its core, or start an odyssey across multiple planets. Oh, I see. This is not available in the demo, so I can't do that anyway. That's interesting. So this is probably just one level, and then this is probably... I, I know it's a roguelike or roguelite-ish, uh, so let's, I guess let's just see how it goes. Okay, definitely want to uh, potentially get my mouse out of here, but also turn down those sound effects by a lot. I don't know. I'm not much of a sound effects kind of guy. Never have been. There we go gonna be a little muddled but it's fine okay huh oh that's that's how we pick up resources and drag them back carried resources slow you down press spacebar to drop one there we go I don't know what I'm using it on okay battle upgrades upgrades okay so I've only got a couple you know what I think I'm actually going to use keyboard and mouse for this one. It seems like it's a little bit better. Um, upgrades. Never mind. I don't know. Hostile prox proximity meter. Display time until hostiles arrive at the dome. Sure. Oh, I see. There it is. That's actually vaguely helpful. Other thing, very quickly, going to turn the music up. Unless there is no music. And it was just that main menu, which is entirely possible. Okay. Either way, it seems like most of my strategy here is to dig as much as possible. Grab as much as possible. Bring it back. And then defend against invaders that are going to be hitting my dome. Okay, let's just do that. I've still got a little bit of time. So I'm going to probably just kind of bash into things around my general base. Give myself some more space. There we go. Okay. Now they're here. Battle. Move, and then shoot. Oh, boy. You're a lot closer than I thought you were going to be. Anybody else, or is that it? Looks like that was it. Okay. No. In retrospect, okay, there's the music. Music is a lot louder than I was expecting it would be. Alright. Audio balance is my favorite part of every game. There we go. I'm just gonna just punch through some of these. I sh probably should... Hey. I was gonna say I probably shouldn't. Whatever this is looks like it's hefty. Let's just grab them, bring them back, see if there's any good upgrades I can grab. Because it seems like combat-wise I'm not in too dire of straits for the moment. But I might get there. Okay, so what do we have? Ah, displays the dome's structural integrity, displays stored resources. So now I can repair the dome if I want to, increase your structural strength of the dome. Let's see. Well, on the sad part... I don't know what I can buy. Yeah, I can't buy any of these. What else do we have? Drill strength, jetpack, carry strength. But I pretty much have none of those. I'm just gonna grab both of those so now now I know. Uh, and it looks like the dome is perfectly fine. At least for the moment. Okay. And yeah, the other thing we're going to have to worry about is drill strength. Ooh, you look interesting. Okay, whatever that big thing is, it seems worth it, but it's too heavy for me to carry at the moment. And I need to get back to the dome. Okay, there's one. Okay, you're rude. At least I can potentially repair. 
at some point. Do we go get that big thing? It's gonna take me a while, but yeah, I think so. Whatever it is, I want it. And it might actually be worth quite a lot, we'll see. I mean, I definitely, definitely want to get some good upgrades sooner than later if I can. Okay. Oh, pick a gadget. Monster repellent. Install a small bubble onto the dome containing a repelling liquid. Activate to release the repellent, delaying the arrival of the next wave. Or orchard. Plants trees that grow fruit. Consume the fruit to buff your drill and movement speed. Let's go for that. I'm going to have to wait, I think. Okay. Let's just go here. So, there's a couple of different digging strategies I can kind of employ. Uh, I'm not doing the best job of it at the moment. And one thing that I might, might want to consider... There we go. There we go. I gotta get back. One thing I might want to consider... Eh... Battle. There we go. You ain't gonna get a jump on me this time, boyo. There are three, though. Which is a little bit of a concern. Okay, there we go. Looks like we're good. I'm probably gonna want to get some upgrades that let me... Dig faster and carry fa- uh... Carry better? Because otherwise this is going to become more and more problematic. Let's grab that real quick. Upgrades. Okay, so- oh, what is this? Orchard. Oh! It has its own upgrade. Tree. Okay, propellant fruit grows much faster, increases your drill boost, letting you drill faster, movement speed. Or last for longer. Tempting. I've got six. The other thing I might want to do is get one in power. I'm going to go drill strength for the time being. I don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, this is much better. Okay. So, my thoughts are... This is too deep. My thoughts are, what I do is this. Oh yeah, especially here. Just grab these. Oh boy. Will they fall to the very bottom? Oh, I have no idea on that one. It is a jetpack, so yeah, gravity might actually be an issue with that. Okay. Well, I've got six. <sighs> now I gotta kill you first. Oh, my poor dome. I don't actually know if Shoot Beast is more dangerous. There we go. Should have gone for that. Okay, other thing. Upgrades. Okay, I had just enough. And we've got a propellant fruit. There we go. Okay, that gives me a nice speed boost. So the one thing to keep in mind here is that I very much want to... Uh, I want to kind of dig in parallel paths. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing this. Uh, mostly just to see if there's anything else. The answer is kinda. There we go. We'll just leave it with that. I definitely want to get more fruit upgrades. They're very strong. Okay, we can probably get just a little bit more. Okay, grab them both. I'll get the big thing later. I'm not actually sure what type of resource the big thing was. I was hoping for just a little bit more. Oh, but you know what I can do? Upgrades. Let's see. Grows faster. Let's make it grow faster and last longer. Oh, I don't have enough juice. 
and we'll just wait. Because wherever the beasties are coming from... Okay, I'm gonna kill the bird first just because I was pointed right at him. We definitely might also want some movement speed on this. Because these guys get a lot of hits in while I'm just kind of reorganizing. Or reorganizing, reorienting. Okay, do we grab this? Yeah. Whatever it is. Oh, my fruit's done. I should grab that. Because, yeah, if I can have one fruit that... is ready. There we go. Pick a gadget. Uh, let's see. Monster repellent or meter shows the distance to the nearest resources. will also show directions with upgrades. Grab that. I know I have some more resources down below. Where's this meter? Okay. I have just enough, hopefully, for the fruit to carry me. Otherwise, we just bip it. Oh, there's the meter. Okay, I'm just going to leave those there. There we go. Kill you. Okay, ready ourselves for this one. Nope. There we go. Ow, my poor dome. I'll be able to upgrade it once. Or upgrade? I'm going to be able to repair it once. That'll have to do for now. We gotta grab some more resources. I think movement speed will be the next one that I invest in. Though, ooh, my success rate is looking a little slim at the moment. Well, it's looking a lot better now. Let's do three and three. And I should also have my fruit ready, so I can go back for a second. Grab. Nope. Not quite ready. It's fine. Might want to also... I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I want to invest in. This is whether or not I'm going to be able to survive it. I'm digging this on, like, a structural level. Obviously, it's a little straining. And a little spooky. The enemies are kind of merciless, but at the same time, I don't know. It's neat. Okay, so what do we want to grab? Movement speed or laser sight? Oh. No, that's fine. Show where it's aiming. Because there's also power 2 and movement speed 2, and then there's these. Double laser, power 3. A couple others. Frankly, I'm just going to get the movement speed for the time being. And... Let's just do movement speed. Water meter, cobalt meter. Oh, I got it. Iron compass and range. Oh, that's way faster. There we go. Yeah, a little bit of speed, a little bit of power, and maybe nothing can touch me. No, still one more. Okay, that's it. It's neat. I'm looking forward to potentially having some more depth to play around with on this. Oh, right. I want to be here. Because it feels like this game would thrive with even more toys to play with. Is the real answer. Right, and I've got that depth meter. There we go. I should really go back for that other rock. On the plus side, here's a bunch. I think I might want to invest in the iron meter. Oh, I should have grabbed my fruit. Maybe not. With this amount of iron? I think we'll go uh, carry capacity. 
for the next one. Or maybe just raw speed. I, there's so much. There's so much for me to potentially upgrade towards. And it is a struggle to figure out which is worth it. Um. Oh. Oh. Requires water. Okay, drill speed boost, jetpack boost, duration. I'm going to go for duration, and we're just going to leave it at that. There we go. These enemies come a little quick. There we go. You shall not shoot at me. Much. For I do not have the durability to deal with that kind of shenanigans. There we go. That's it. All right. Eat fruit. Dig fast. There we go. I went for the wrong one, but maybe that's okay. This is a lot of iron. Okay. Looks like I can swing about four. Nope, three. Three is my limitation, four with the fruit. And even then, the fruit was kind of eh. Unless they got stuck. Which is possible. Okay, no, I only have five. And we should probably save it for a uh, personal upgrade. Or not a personal upgrade. There we go. Yeah, that fruit duration is almost good enough. And actually, like, is kind of a huge carry. Okay. Let's just bring it out. Upgrade. So what can I do? I have eight. I mean, we might want to save up for just power. Otherwise, I could go for... Drill strength or a couple other things. What is that? Uh, let's see. Carry more resources. Because the meter would be nice, but not that huge. And I haven't picked up any more water. Uh, let's see. Extra structural uh, stability might not be a terrible idea. Don't need the aiming. Movement speed might be good. But I think my most valuable thing that I can do in the moment is just be ready. Oh. You look like bad news. Kill that. Whatever this is, is not okay and I don't want it. Please go away. Please die. Oh, I have no idea how much HP you have. Okay, there we go. That hurt a bunch. In that case, upgrades. Drill strength? No. We want to just go speed. Because I got to get down and I got to go fast. Okay. Let's go here. Because, yeah, my fruit ain't ready. And it looks like I am slowed down with this many resources, but not tremendously. Now, there's some question on whether or not this was the most efficient course of action. Can I do four? Oh, they must have just been stuck earlier. Okay, I can do that. Might want to just clear the way for myself for the next round. I'm digging the extra movement speed. It, it certainly is letting me get places. And yeah, we're out of water. Okay, can't be doing this. There we go. Let's see if we have any more horrible scorpion beasts or if we're kind of lucky. Nope. Ah, balls. Oh boy. I don't foresee myself surviving this. Nope, I'm dead.
Okay. Oh, your battle's over, but you can keep one gadget for the next run. Which should it be? Orchard. Did require some water, but was worth it. Okay, yeah. Let's do one more. Yeah, unfortunately, the rest of these are not available, so we're stuck with the laser and doing core. All right. I don't actually know what Q and E do with this, but it's fine. Oh. And this is slightly different. There we go. Probably should have actually mined that first. No. We want to do this. And we want to go sideways. And we effectively just want to go up and down a bunch of parallel paths separated out by... Uh, like, effectively leave... Uh, it's not every other, it's every two, effectively. There we go. Gotta go to the upgrades, because we need this. And we need that. Okay, there we go. So one there. One here. There we go. And why this, you may ask? Uh, mainly this way... You only can see where a resource is within a range of one. Oh, please be. Yes. Like, only physical proximity lets you know where a resource is. And so the most efficient way of doing it is by effectively spreading out like this manner. I could go much more uh, disorganized than this. And to some degree, like... This is maybe still a bit excessive. There we go. There might have also been a way that I could bring it in by one and had it be better, but... That initial starting tunnel kind of threw that off a bit. Okay. I can do four. Yeah, we don't have any water or anything else. I gotta decide what is most immediately valuable to me. I think I might want to do movement speed. Oh, I don't have enough. There we go. Please spawn on this side. There we go. Luck that there. I know we have one more out on that side, but I'll get to it when I get to it. There we go. Yeah, we might end up with a couple of cross paths here, but I have no idea. Okay, back we go. I definitely want, probably want to grab the movement speed first and foremost. The extra damage is tempting, but if uh, if the critters coming after my dome are just good at evading me because I'm too slow. It, part of the problem is the flyers. You really have to wait for them to respawn or at least become corporeal again. And that's a bit of a nuisance. And so to some degree, I think I need to make sure that they die first. There we go. Because the Landwalkers are a pain, but not a huge one. Well, they are. I really wish you could see them coming a little bit further. An upgrade that specifically makes it so you, uh... Please die. An upgrade that made it... that would make it specifically so that... Oh, what is it? Uh, so it's more zoomed out so you can see them coming from further away. I feel like you should be able to see them a, a decent ways out. It just costs you some time. Okay. It's kind of a dead path, but I'm still gonna dig my way out here. I don't actually know if that's a good idea. There we go. I mean, these are good. I guess... It I guess I should grab them. The question is, like, 
how focused do I want to be on mining these resources right now versus later? There we go. I didn't realize that we were using a jetpack for this. I feel like there's there should be a more efficient and elegant solution to collecting resources than just jetpack. Okay, this is maybe not great. Oh boy, that's a lot of that's a lot of boys. Lego my ego off my dome. Okay, upgrades once again. Let's see. I'd like to use the fruit, but I just don't have any water, so it's kind of meaningless. Okay, I don't have enough. I don't want to buy the resource display until I have to. There we go. Maybe I should have gone for the research or the resource reveal. Because that would, I, I could, oh man, especially with the iron compass, that would have been the better idea. I was just thinking the tree would be nice for the movement speed, but you need... Let's see. You need water to get that thing to work, and I, I have no water, which seems a little odd, considering, you know, I've got plenty of snow outside. You think I could use that, but I, I guess that's a big no. Either way, it's a charming roguelike. It's a little clumsy, uh, but I think a lot of that's just, you know, bouncing off of walls and whatnot. Gets a little clunky. Grab that. Then battle. Okay, and I'm just going to start pointing upwards. Still no flyer. There we go. Okay, let's just go here. I'm just going to take these down with me for a second instead of just immediately bringing them back up. There we go. Yeah, I think the resource radar would have actually been the better idea. Oh well. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's alas. Okay. I think these are... that's big. Can I get them both? Yes. Just barely, but I can. Let's see what kind of gadget we get here. Because I, I like the gadget system. Unfortunately, you really have to invest in them to make them good. Uh, prospection meter? Yeah, let's grab that again. Range 1. Iron compass. There we go. Yeah, we'll do it. The other meters would be nice, but I don't think they're going to go that far. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's much I can do here. I'm just gonna clear a couple of things out. I was originally kind of planning on having... Nope. There we go. Caught it before it went. There we go. Okay. Now how's this whole copper meter supposed to work? I mean, it's clearly working. Or copper, iron meter. It's just got a very distinctly copper look to it. Okay, let's grab this set. If I can get the next level of gun, I'm going to be a happy camper. Unfortunately, this is getting a little little deep for me, which is problematic. Because it means I have to spend a tremendous amount of time just getting resources back. I think I have just enough time to grab that other set. We'll be good to go. No. 
Yeah, because I got to be on the gun before the, the critters come. Honestly, I feel like this is the kind of game that would almost benefit greatly from some very light tower defense mechanics. Can't afford either of those. I'll just wait. Okay, I see you there. I see the other guy, and he's a problem. But killing the flyers is the most helpful. The problem is, I haven't found a whole lot of resources for uh, healing. Okay, I'm going to use this opportunity to kind of dig back a bit. Looks like this path is bupkis, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm just going to go down. Unfortunately, we are very quickly kind of ending up in the doghouse. Uh, part of the problem is every aspect of this game gets increasingly more difficult. If that makes sense. And it should. But, you know, the further you dig, the harder everything is. You know, the, the rock resists. And then, obviously, the enemy waves are much, much tougher and much punchier. I guess I should probably hit up some of the sides. It looks like there's not a whole lot of resources down below. Please tell me I have enough. No. Yes. Movement speed. Well, it's nice and quick. For what good that'll do me. I just... Got him, and we're dead. Never mind. That was rough. Yeah, definitely go with the prospection meter. The uh, the orchard is not that helpful. That said, I think I'm gonna stop for here. It's a neat game, but it is very early. It, some light automation would go a very, very long way. Being able to build, uh, you know, just got a couple of defensive towers. Uh, to soften enemies up or, you know, just being able to see them a little further or having some mining drones or something, you know, if I could build like a little uh, resource relay after a certain layer uh, that will slowly bring the resources back up for me because having to jetpack all the resources from that distance is rough and I realize there's a lot of upgrades to make to facilitate that but uh, as a massive, massive fan of automation in games a lot of me is just like, oh but what if I could optimate, uh, op optimate, automate, there we go. I was thinking optimize and automate and combining them into the same thing, which I mean, honestly should be a word, but isn't. And that's a shame. Inventing words is my hobby, I guess. I guess not words, Frankensteining words together. That's my, that's my hobby. Anyway, yeah, if I could optimize and automate uh, certain actions so I don't have to keep doing them over and over again, I think that would go a very long way at getting me resources, but at the same time, I also realized that my, that might not actually be uh, the most... I don't want to say the most primo thing to do, but that might not be the direction the developers are going, and that's okay too. So, with all of that said, Dome Romantic is kind of available on Steam. The demo is available now, so if you guys want to play it yourselves, get further than me and potentially see some of these creatures that I have only seen on the title menu, go for it and check it out because it seems like it's got a lot going uh, going for it as far as like roguelikes go. I have not seen anything that really fits this bill, uh, save for like Nom Nom Galaxy, which is something I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Uh, and maybe I'll give that a go sometime this week. We'll see. But... Apart from that, uh, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, hit subscribe, because I got tons of them to check out. Like, actually way too many. <laughs> uh, but with all that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.